Hello, and welcome again to Praxis Group International. My name is Mr. Hearn, and I have dedicated my life to helping you get a respectable passing score on your TOEFL IBT. Now, if you've been watching my videos and you haven't yet, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Those little things are free for you, and it really helps me to help as many people as I can. In this video, I'm going to give you five tips that are going to help you to earn a score of 27 plus on your TOEFL speaking section. Now, I know you may be saying, Mr. I just need 26 to get past this stupid test. Well, yes, you do. But I'd like you to earn a respectable passing score so you can beat out the competition. All right, let's get into it. Let me tell you about tip one for getting a respectable passing score of 27 plus on your TOEFL speaking section. Here it is. Tip number one, do not use templates. Okay, so this is kind of controversial, but there's a reason that I tell you to not use templates. Understand, when you're taking classes with me, you're not just taking TOEFL classes. I'm here to help you get a respectable passing score in your TOEFL IBT. ETS tells you in the rules to not use templates. Well, let me show you what they tell you so you really believe that what I'm telling you is true. Take a look. This is the official document from ETS, the TOEFL Go Learn, that's giving you instructions for how to earn a high score in the speaking section. Let's take a look at the part that's telling you to not use templates. Okay, we don't have to read all of this. Let me just underline the part that you need to know to get a higher score. Right here, it says, it is important to use your own words and provide an original response. But wait a minute, why is that really important? ETS tells you, including memorized reasons and examples may result in a lower score. All right, so they don't use the word templates, but they're telling you to not use memorized responses. What are memorized responses? Templates. And what are they saying? If you use templates, you may receive a lower score. It's very likely you will not be able to score more than 22 in the speaking section by using templates. Now, I want you to pass your TOEFL. And you might be scared and thinking, Mr. If I don't use templates, I, I just I just get too nervous. Not when you know exactly what to do. And that's what I teach you in my course. I teach you exactly what ETS requires of you and how to structure your response so that you can easily and casually give the graders the responses they want. Okay, no templates, right? No templates. Structure is what they want. Structure and rules. Let's take a look at tip number two. Tip number two. Time pressure is designed to cause anxiety and confusion. How many times have you felt pressured by time to give your response on the TOEFL speaking section? I mean, how many times have you been giving your response and then you look up to see the clock and you're like, um, and you've just blown your score. Don't worry about the time. ETS gives you plenty of time to do the task when you're following their procedures and rules. You see, the TOEFL speaking section isn't about how well you speak in English. It's about how well you know what ETS requires of you. What they wanna know is, hey, can you take notes and can you structure your response the way we want you to? If you know those things and you do those things, you automatically get a higher score. So don't worry about the time, especially in question one, right? With that 15 seconds to prepare, I've got a really good and productive tip that helps you to get like 35 to 45 seconds to prepare for that question. And I tell you all about it in my course. Oh, well, speaking of my course, take a look at this. Free yourself from the TOEFL IBT in 30 days. This course includes unlimited access to lessons for all four sections of the TOEFL. It includes membership to our TOEFL community. 
you will have continuous personalized support to answer all of your questions. There's live TOEFL Q&A group sessions via Zoom, and I'm offering 50% scholarship to members who want to have Zoom classes. Now, this course is typically $159 a month. Right now, I've lowered the cost to only $79.95 a month. All right, I apologize for that shameless plug for my course, but I'm really here to help you to pass this stupid TOEFL IBT and get on with living a successful life. My YouTube videos are good, but the video course is excellent. And when you go there, you don't just go there alone. It's not like most video courses. When you go to my video course, I'm there to help you to pass this, this test, right? And you'd be surprised how many of my students see that it really is me, right? When they click on the link on the Zoom and they find it's my face, it's not somebody else that I hired, it's me who's helping you pass your TOEFL. All right, let's get into tip number three. Tip number three. This is a test of how well you can take notes and respond in the way ETS requires you to. That's right. The TOEFL IBT speaking section isn't about how well you can speak English. It's a study skill that they're asking you about. They want to know, hey, can you take the notes of the pertinent information, that is, the information they think is important, and can you structure your response in the way that we want you to? And if you can do that, you earn a high score. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Most people think that you start with a score of zero and then you try to earn that high score. And it's completely opposite. You actually start with a perfect score and you maintain your perfect score by hitting those elements that ETS requires you to. Elements like, did you speak in English only? Yes or no. Did you speak clearly? Yes or no. Did you have, uh, did you answer completely? Yes or no? Did you have any long pauses or extra words like uh or um? Yes or no? Did you have relevant reasons, examples, and details for the first question and accurate reasons, examples, and details for the other three questions? Yes or no? Did you use connection words and phrases? Yes or no? Did you have proper grammar? Yes or no? Did you have proper vocabulary? Yes or no? And did you use complex sentences? Yes or no? And that's all the graders care about. When they get done checking off their yes or no, they don't give you a score. They simply hit the submit button. Well, that is the human does. Remember that there is a human being and an AI, an artificial intelligence that's scoring your response. So I really get into more of how the graders score your responses and how the AI works in my online course. So if you're interested in passing the TOEFL IBT, come and see me. Right. I mean, you can see me here, but when you go to my course, you get to actually talk to me and I can really explain things to you. So you get that passing score. Let's take a look at tip number four. Tip number four. Do not give a conclusion statement. All right. This is something that I get all the time. I have students coming to me who have struggled with other tutors and continuously fail their TOEFL IBT, they finally get to me and I tell them, ETS doesn't want you to use conclusion statements, okay? It's not necessary. In fact, it's counterproductive. If you've been trying to squeeze in those conclusion statements and you're going over time or you're just getting uh, really rattled with your answer because you just can't get that statement in, it's so much easier to not give them and you will get a higher score. I know it sounds crazy. So many tutors are teaching. Oh, you have to really give your opinion and tell them what you think it is. And then you have to give a conclusion statement. Oh my goodness, it's all wrong. ETS doesn't want you to give your opinion. They don't want you to give your interpretation. They want you to prove that you can take accurate notes and structure your response in the way they want you to. This whole test is all about structures and rules, procedures and rules. They want to know, do you know the procedures of the test and can you perform them while operating under pressure? Okay, 
That's all it is. It's a psychological battery. It's not a test of English. That explains why, if your English is really good or even pretty good, you can't pass this stupid test. It's not a test of English. It's a test of procedures and rules. That's what I teach you in everything. What does ETS want and how do we give it to them in the way they want it so that you get a high score? All right, let's get to the last tip. And this is really going to explain how you're going to get that score of 27 plus on your speaking section. Here is tip number five. Tip number five. You must obey the rubric. Okay. So I just got done telling you that the TOEFL IBT is all about how well you follow procedures and rules. And rubric is just a fancy word for rules. They have very specific rules that they want you to follow for each question type. Now, the rubric is what makes the test fair. You may have heard me over and over again. Since 2007, I've been saying that the TOEFL IBT is not a fair test. I still believe that because people think it's a test of English and it isn't. So that means it's not fair in that way. However, it's a standardized test. The TOEFL IBT is a standardized test, which means it has very specific structures and rules. And if you obey those rules, you will get a high score. When I say high, I mean 100 plus. Okay. 100 plus is the score that you're going to get on your TOEFL IBT when you know what to do and you do it. This rubric, it's the rules that ETS requires you to use to answer the questions, and it makes the test fair for everyone. This TOEFL IBT is fair because it has very specific rules. It doesn't matter where you're from, what gender you are, how much money you have. It doesn't matter. As long as you know the rules and obey the rules, you get a passing score, and you get on with your life, and we all get to live happily ever after. All right, that's the five tips. And I really do, I really do want to help you pass your TOEFL IBT. So if you've been struggling, it doesn't matter how hard it's been for you. Come to see me. I can help you pass in 30 days. Just come in, check, uh, click the link in the description below or in the first comment. Come and see me. Subscribe to my video course. Let me get you that respectable passing score so you can get on with your life. And again, if you haven't already, it's free. Click subscribe and hit the like button, right? I'm always making new videos, so make sure you stay in tune. All right, that's it for now. I hope to see you soon.